Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be playing some HAD or some HAD here. This is another game from uh, one of my favorite developers, uh, Cultisti, and this is a uh, short and sweet little top-down platformer with uh, 20 levels. Uh, I don't know if this one was made for a game jam, but it was made in uh, four days nonetheless, which is, uh, yeah, just always blows me away what uh, Cultisti and what a lot of uh, folks can do in these uh, game jams or short uh, time frames or whatever, but... Uh, yeah, you don't see a lot of uh, top-down platformers. It seems like this is more like a little bit puzzly, but arcadey still in the same way that it's just like, yeah, clear all the stages, uh, get the collectibles. But yeah, I've just played a tiny bit, basically just the first uh, couple stages here. But with Cultisti stuff, it's like I pretty much always know it's going to be top-notch. So yeah, I just love like the vibey, relaxing music. It doesn't seem like this one's going to be too tricky, uh, but Cultisti always does a really great job with the... Uh, difficulty curve and whatnot and yeah i just love the aesthetics the music um i feel like kind of a broken record whenever i'm playing their games it's just like non-stop uh gush session but i just can't help myself it's just absolutely awesome i love these like 3d uh cubes here and uh if you like what you see i'll have links in the uh, video description to where you can check this one out per usual uh and more likely than not assuming i don't hit a uh, brick wall an unexpected brick wall uh, I'll hopefully be playing through this uh, whole game here. Can I jump over that? Yes. Okay, I wasn't sure uh, how much uh, leeway I was going to get on the uh, up and over. And again, uh, I feel like every now and then, I, I feel like I say this more often than not, or not more often than not, but I say this relatively often, or often enough to um, finally <laughs> spit the thought out. But like, um, I feel like I always say, oh, you don't see a lot of top-down uh, platformers these days, but then I feel like I say that relatively often so um regardless um for me it doesn't really matter what kind of game cultisti makes i'm here for it um and they do all sorts of stuff even uh non-game stuff like uh just art in general visual novels um their stuff's just fantastic um but yeah and i love how all the levels have like a little name to them like it's like okay oh can i do a diagonal yeah shortcut even got some speed running uh potential in this one here which uh, most of their games do at least the more like arcadey ones or the ones that have more of a um i shouldn't say not necessarily the arcadey ones because some of them are like more straight up like actual arcade games but the ones that are like single screen arcade level based games i guess is more what i was thinking in my mind but yeah i just love the like kind of muted soft cool uh color palette here Almost halfway there. Okay, this is just gonna go back and forth. Easy breezy. Just gotta fill the cubes on the bottom, so you always know how many there are gonna be on each stage. Not that you wouldn't be able to just see them anyways, but. Um, so yeah, you got three here. Let's see, just cut that diagonal, perfect. And right back and over. I was gonna say, can I get all the way there? Not quite, there we go. There we go. All right, are these just going to go back and forth? Oh, shit. I thought there was a platform in the middle there. Not so much. Yeah, so far, difficulty is relatively on the easy-ish side, but perfect for, like, a nice, chill, short and sweet uh, game. And it's like, I feel like I'm doing pretty good here, coasting along. Boom. Boom. Oh, I was literally just about to say, I don't even know if I've died yet. <laughs> That's what you get for you. I was going to say for opening my mouth, but didn't even need to open my mouth. Just had to think it. There we go. There we go. Give me a dozen. Yeah, you can almost like, not every game, because some of their games, like I was just playing one of their more recent games. I think maybe their most recent game, uh, Curse Ball. Uh, the other day and that game like definitely doesn't give you time to just like zen out but like some of their games like yeah really do put you in this like almost like meditative state um i absolutely love it like the whole just experience the music just everything about it um just really nice to play something again not that this is super difficult or anything but just to play a video game that has like such a mellow vibe um not that Cultisti is the only one making them, but <laughs> I just feel like a broken record here. Just uh, 
singing the praises nonstop. Oh, we got a sniper, a little shoot 'em up. Yeah, I love that. Like, I don't know if it's like a 3D effect or whatever it is on those collectible cubes, but the, it's just like a really cool uh, visual flair. Oh, there we go. Get it on the diagonal. There we go. Just a few more. So again, fair warning on the spoiler alerts. If you like what you see, I'll have the links in the video description so you can check this one out for yourself. But I have a feeling I'm going to be coasting. No, not coasting, but making my way through to the end here. Got a little dicey there. Oh, shit. There we go. A little dicier there. Getting a little tougher. Maybe I spoke a little too soon. But obviously, it's not like, you know, we're not getting into brutal platforming territory here. But sometimes, as much as I love a challenging platformer, sometimes I like just, like, a mildly challenging platformer. Perfect. Let's go. Two more. Two more. What do you got for me? Just some verticals. Just gotta go back and forth. Easy enough. There we go. There we go. Last one. Speed run. Oh, shit. I'll take that. Uh, sure, yeah, that'll work. In the middle here, outrun that one. Oh, come on, you chump. I had that. God damn it. Oh, shit, and I blew that one. Damn it. Could have had, like, a... Probably a one-death run there, but nope. Nah, I just died, like, ten times on this stage. Not ten times, but... Probably like six, seven times right there real quick. Especially with those couple that I just ran right off the ledge on. Like a doofus. Let's go. There it is. Exit, baby. Let's go. Let's go. There's always, almost always like a little cool uh, closing sequence too. So let's see where I got kind of sucked into that portal at the beginning there. Jump. Some kind of box, some kind of envelope. What is that? Walk into the door. Portal. What the heck is going on? Oh, no way! This is the start of their game envelope, or it's envelope spelt backwards. Um, different character and stuff. This is so cool. So that is an envelope, not a box. What the heck? Is that how the game ends? Oh. Wait a sec. Oh, man. Okay. Because the envelope or envelope backwards, however you call it, it was also a uh, top-down platformer as well. Oh, that's so cool. So cool. I love how I feel like all their games do have, like, aesthetically have, like, a similar style. Or not similar, but, it, yeah, I feel like all their stuff is just, like, cohesive in a way that, like, if, if it's all in the same universe, it very well could be. And they do, yeah, they do a lot of, like, callbacks to their old games. But, yeah, I just really can't recommend Cultisti's stuff enough. And they have, like, more than two dozen games. I might be exaggerating a tad, but I really don't think I am. They have so many amazing games on their page. I can't recommend them enough. But, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, as always. And uh, check out HAD and Envelope Backwards and all of Cultisti's games. Again, broken record here, but uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, and take care.